hi guys welcome back to my channel today we have my first ruffle heart i love this heart and also i have been battling depression for the past few months and to be able to smile genuinely again like this makes me so happy so um we do have this heart it's very very simple any beginner should jump onto this one because it's very simple very fast forming and a project you can work in under an hour if you are fast enough so i have this squishy cozy yarn it is channel yarn and i love it it's advisable to use an eight millimeter but i size down my hook to a six millimeter because i love some tension on my hearts i love a good tension so that you know they don't stretch out and end up non-fitting my glands also i am making this for someone without big hair so i am really cautious on the fit so i worked with a six millimeter hook and to start off i will make a magic knot sorry a magic circle just like that and i'm going to yarn over insert my hook into the circle and pull through a loop then work more like a single crochet i will then chain one and yarn over into the circle i am going to work 14 double crochets <coughs> yeah so that's one and i'll insert my hook into the circle work my second double crochet those are two and you know you're just going to have to go all the way around with your double crochets until you have a total of 14. remember the first chain and single crochet do not act as a stitch so in this uh incident we are going to be having 14 stitches in total right so let me meet you guys once you have your 14 stitches and then i'll show you what to do now once you have all 14 double crochets and this is how your work should look like you're now going to get into the chain stitch the second chain stitch that started the row in there and you're going to work a slip stitch to close off your work so we have worked our very first row of um our bucket hat and now we are going to chain two the two chains do not act as a stitch right so we chain two and we do not turn our work instead we get into this very first stitch right there and work a double crochet just like that and once again we are going to get into that very same stitch and work another double crochet so those are two okay now into the next stitch which is the third stitch sorry which is the second stitch we are going to work three double crochets in there so that's the very first one and then we go in with the second right and then we go in with the third okay so those are three double crochets see that so we are going to continue with the very same thing into the next stitch into the next thing we are sorry into the next stitch we are going to work two double crochets just like that right and now into the next stitch after that we are going to work three double crochets so we are working on intervals uh, in intervals sorry in intervals of two double crochets in the next stitch and then three double crochets in the next stitch after that right so that's what we are going to be doing all the way around we work two double crochets in this stitch and then the next will have three double crochets in it this is what you are going to do all the way around for all the stitches until you come to the end of your row and i'm going to meet you there then show you what to do and now this is what my work looks like and this is how uh yours should look like so we are going to get into the second chain stitch of the two that started the row and there we shall work a slip stitch right and now we are going to go in with our third row and we are going to chain two yeah so um we are going to chain two 
and um, get into this very fast stitch in there we work a double crochet just like that and then <coughs> We are now going to yarn over, insert our hook into that very same stitch and work a double crochet. So we have two double crochets into the very first stitch, right? Then we get into the next stitch and work one double crochet, right? Just like that. And then my daughter got my yarn wet, so it's kind of disturbing me. We get into the next stitch and into the next stitch we are going to work two double crochets all in that very same stitch you see now i'm struggling with it because it's not dry she wet it and then now into the next stitch i'm going to work one double crochet right and then two double crochets into the next stitch <coughs> So on this row, you, you see that uh, we are working in intervals of two double crochets in this stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch, right? Two double crochets in this stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch. So these are the intervals in which we are going to work for this whole entire row. And I'm going to let you guys go all the way around with your stitches. <coughs> You know until you come to the end of your row that's where i'm going to meet you and then show you what to do okay so here we are i have come to the end of my row and i'm going to work a slip stitch into that second chain that started the the row right and now to work my next row i am going to stop you know increasing my circle because this is for me just enough width for my head or for the head of my client which i am working for if you want to go bigger you can go on but just keep in mind it will stretch out so don't go big and if you want to go big you can work like you know one double crochet into the next two stitches one one double crochet and then into the third stitch you work two double crochets and just follow that kind of interval until the end of your row right but i feel like after your fourth row <coughs> that will be enough with it even if you're working for someone that has big hair but for me because i am done with going bigger i am now going to chain two and work one double crochet into every stitch all the way around so that's what you're going to do until you come to the end of the row <coughs> and you will notice that your work is starting to fold and that's what we are looking for and it folds because you're no longer increasing your rows to go wider right so let me meet you at the end of the row and then show you what to do so guys i have come to the end of my row and i worked my slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two that started the row but since i didn't show you that let me just show it to you just in case it gets you confused all right you can see that my work folded the moment i stopped increasing so here i am going to work my slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row and to start my next row i am going to chain two this is clearly optional you can turn your work or not turn your work that's clearly up to you but you're going to do the very same thing work one double crochet into every stitch all the way around and this is what you're going to do for the next row as well so this means that we are going to have three rows of merely double crochets one double crochet into every stitch all the way around <coughs> for um you know the side of our heart right because the top of our head is complete now this is the side and we need a total of three rows so work the next so you make three right let me meet you there. Here we are and um, I have my three rows complete. This is how they look like so far. And now I am going to start working my ruffle. All right. What I liked about this is it's very, very easy with just a few rows you have 
our whole complete project. So we chain two and now we are going to be working into the back loop, right? Into the back loop, guys, we work um, a double crochet just like that. Yeah. <coughs> my girl got my yarn wet and I'm now struggling with it. So yes, I'll go in there and work another double crochet just like that. So those are two. Remember, I am working this into the back loop. So into the next stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, guys. Keep that in mind. So yes, I'm going to get back into that very same stitch, into the back loop of it, and I'm going to work another double crochet right <coughs> so I'll work my double crochet just like that so i have two into this stitch and then i'm going to go in with the third stitch just like that okay so i am working in intervals of two double crochets into this stitch and then three double crochets into the next but if you want a more more like huge huge ruffle Please work three double crochets into every stitch, every back loop of every stitch. So like you can see in here, uh, I went in with the third because I wanted to, you know, just show you guys uh, having three double crochets into every back loop of every stitch gives you um, a very good fold, like a very, very good fold. So just in case you want that then you're going to be working three double crochets into the back loop of every stitch <coughs> now the beauty about working into the back loop is you get that line that sort of shows it separates you know the side of the heart from the brim of the heart right and it kind of makes your brim uh, you know like sit like i don't even know how to explain it but just work into the back loops guys all right so here we are and i have worked my first row of the brim and that's how it looks like now you can see what i was talking about you see that line that you know kind of separates the side of the heart from the brim it's because we worked into the back loops that's that's where the effect comes from. So I hope you keep that in mind when working any other hats that you may, you know, love to work and you want that separation that clearly indicates that this is where the brim starts from. Yes. So uh, once you come to the end of your row with your ruffles, you're going to work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch that started the row. And now for my very last row, because I don't want a really wide brim, these are ruffles. I don't want them to be falling into my face. <clears throat> for my very last row i am just going to chain one and i'm going to be working one single crochet into every stitch i'm not going to work any increments whatsoever i am just closing this off with single crochets into every stitch now just in case you want to go with a wider brim you will just work one double crochet into every stitch okay because we already have our increments going on the ruffles have already formed so you can just work one double crochet and that row of double crochet will give you a wider brim that will not overfall into your face right so yes and this is how it should look like i am so glad you guys you know made it to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next very simple tutorial goodbye